41-year-old Alexander Stupp has been Finland's foreign minister for the last year. He has a PhD in European studies and he's one of the EU's latest political luminaries. The EU is my thing and uh, you know I really, really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed my time in the European Parliament and had I not been called in for this job as foreign minister, I'd, I'd be running for the European Parliament right now. In Brussels, we meet up with the youngest foreign minister in the bloc. His boyish charm and irreverent sense of humor go down very well here. The most eco-friendly foreign minister. We walked all the way from Finland. It was a bit long, but... Tell us on serious matters, on Burma. The reporters appreciate his relaxed manner. But when the chips are down, Alexander Stupp is also a man who gets the job done. Today, he's meeting with Iceland's EU ambassador. The financial crisis has prompted Iceland to start considering EU membership. Alex, sorry for being a little bit late. I, I shouldn't be telling this to an Icelandic, but uh, I had to go do some banking affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Young as he is, Stupp is a confident player on the EU stage. He easily holds his own against colleagues such as David Miliband, the EU's second youngest foreign minister, and his German counterpart, Frank-Walter Steinmeier. The roots of his success can be traced back to the Finnish capital Helsinki, where Alexander Stupp was born. Finland is home to the EU's longest border with Russia. It's a cold country, but the people are famously hospitable. Equally famous is the Finnish high-tech industry. Europe's leading mobile phone supplier, Nokia, is based here. So is the OSCE, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. It's been housed here in the Finlandia Congress Center since 1975. With 56 participating states from Europe, Central Asia and North America, the OSCE forms the largest regional security organization in the world. The Finlandia House, Finlandia house is close by. There it is, the white building. As Finland's foreign minister, Alexander Stupp is currently the OSCE's chairman in office. Stupp believes that its response to the recent war between Russia and Georgia shows that the OSCE still has relevance. It was very concrete. We had an explicit goal. Along with French Foreign Minister Bernard Kushner, we set out to broker a ceasefire between Tbilisi and Moscow. We achieved this goal in just five days. With his academic background, Alexander Stupp is clearly well grounded in political theory. All he needs now is experience, which he's getting here at his next meeting with the Foreign Minister of the United Arab Emirates. I know why you're here. I'll make it really easy. We will support Iran if you support our campaign for the UN Security Council 2013-2014. And we've done our business. <laughs> Stupp likes to keep fit. And he works out for an hour every day. For the time being, he gets around town without a bodyguard. Right now, he's training for his first triathlon. He needs to stick to a tight schedule, and he does. If only everyone else did. He's been known to complain about a lack of efficiency in Brussels. Ultimately, however, Stupp has a lot of respect for his colleagues. They're the EU's third generation. I call it the Microsoft Messenger generation. We chat around in the net, and uh, for us, Europe is something that comes with our blood in many ways. I mean, for me, it's always been normal to travel anywhere in the world. It's been normal to use the euro. So in that sense, I hope that uh, my generation is even more European than, than the previous one. Right. And he himself is one of its poster politicians. All right, see you.